So I was looking through the tool list in our local Craigslist, and this bandsaw came up. I ended up paying $350, which I thought was a really good deal. The saw was in kind of rough shape. It was missing the base, it was missing the motor, the tires were completely worn out, and it was missing a few other parts. I decided to take the whole thing apart and fix what I could and put it back together. This was a pretty fun project for one reason. I got to use a lot of tools that I normally don't use. There's a lot going on in this upper wheel mechanism, but it's definitely built pretty strong. One of the shafts of the blade tensioning mechanism had a good deal of corrosion. I would like to have rebuilt the shaft I'm about to pull out, but it has Acme threads and I'm not a machinist. And I also didn't want to buy an Acme die just for this project. While taking it apart, I found a repair that somebody else had done previously, but it definitely failed. Please check out a previously posted video where I repair this casting. This shaft for the lower wheel had definitely been abused. I got my father-in-law, who is a machinist, to weld up the uh, bearing race damage. And then I did some repairs on the keyway. If you've never been to the website, you should definitely check out McMaster Car. I picked the bearings up in Motion Industries. Two of, them they had, two of them they had on hand and two of them they had to order in. I'm sure there's a more professional way to get this bearing on, but this is what worked for me. And it was actually a good thing I videoed all this because there was a spacer I couldn't remember where it went, and I had to go back and look at the footage to see. Please don't judge. I know that's a carpenter's hammer. And now it's on to making the base. I've probably said it before, but this Harbor Freight $270 bandsaw is a great deal. I made the base with scraps left over from other projects. Have you ever experienced that feeling when you need the perfect size drill bit and you're just hoping that you've got it? Yeah! That's a quarter 20 tap, and I know that's a giant tap wrench, but, but I'm kind of using it just for the fun of it since I watched a lot of A-Bomb 79 videos. And now I get to see for the first time how this bandsaw fits on the stand. Here I'm using a thread gauge, which is actually a pretty handy tool to have around. And now I'm going to chase the threads with a matching tap. I bet you didn't know that a drill press could be a lathe too. A little mechanical persuasion to get that shaft in. And then I realized, oh, I should probably protect those threads.
This is the most complicated part of the saw. So I was hoping I got it put together right. After using the saw, I realized the tensioning mechanism is still kind of jerky. So I wish I would have cleaned up that left hand shaft a little bit more before I put this thing back together. I know you're wanting to say, dude, clean up your work area, man. When I was hammering the pin through this cast cover, I was really concerned. I thought this project could really go south quick. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but there's been a lot of wardrobe changes. This project actually took me about 14 months to finish. Just more important projects kept coming up. Here's the brain for the top wheel. Please subscribe. Hey, I think in the past 11 months, this guy finally learned the right hammer to use. I picked these bandsaw tires up, up from Sulphur Grove Tools. They were very helpful. I went on their website and I had a question and I called their phone number and a real person actually answered. It was a good company to do business with. If you're hoping to learn how to install bandsaw tires, this is definitely not the right video for you, but uh, at least you'll get some entertainment out of it. Is actually the worst job in this one. But hey, the tires are on. The table and the tilting mechanism were already disassembled when I bought the saw, so now I'm kind of trying to figure it out as I go. Those are some good looking cobwebs. Now I've started working on the electric motor mount. These are some grooves in the mounting plate. We'll see how they're used later. Looks like my four-year-old phone is having a hard time keeping focus. Too bad the phone just doesn't last as long as the bandsaw did. I finally got smart and using the right tap wrench. This piece of angle iron is gonna be attached to the motor plate and it'll eventually cause the motor to move back and forth. Come to the conclusion that if you gotta do just a little bit of welding, the stick welder is actually faster than MIG. Seems like with MIG you're always trying to figure out why is the gas not flowing, or why is the wire not moving, or or why I need to replace this tip that I've been using for the past five years. Stick welding on the other hand, it just always works. nuts on the end of some all-thread rod 
But then later I thought, why don't I just go to Tractor Supply and get some long holds? You know a bandsaw is old when the manual has a recommended blade speed for asbestos sheets. I picked the belt up at an auto parts store. It only took me three tries to get the right one. I'm pretty pumped. My blade tension mechanism actually works. I got this switch off of Amazon. Seems to work pretty good. The tilting mechanism is completely missing. I've seen them pop up on eBay, and I'll pick one up soon. Safety glasses on. Fingers crossed. Hopefully this thing doesn't blow up. I'm pretty happy with the way the project turned out. Cut's really nice. It's really smooth. You can definitely tell that the saw has some weight to it. There's a bearing going out in the blade guide mechanism. And it'd be much better with modern bearings versus these old style guide blocks. If I use it enough that the bearing eventually craps out or I just decide I need the guide blocks, I'll go ahead and update. But for now, this project is done. Bought the saw in September of 2018. I finished it up in January of 2020, so it's quite a long project. I'm happy to get a lot of stuff off the floor, get this thing in a useful condition, and use it for an upcoming project I've got planned. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the project. Please hit that subscribe button and have a great day. Thanks for watching.